पर कितनी है बेटा तेरी हमारी तेरह साल कैसे शुरू हुआ तू इसकी शुरुआत कैसे करी इसकी शुरुआत पहले हम पीते थे इससे बड़ी बड़ी से ना सिगरेट सिगरेट से सिलोजन सिलोजन जो ट्यूब ट्यूब वे सिलोजन सीख गए ट्यूब क्या चीज होती है पंचा जोड़ने वाली बहुत अच्छा मजा आ जाता है सो घूमते हैं नशा आता है नींद अच्छी आती है रात में सपने नहीं आते हैं अच्छी नींद आती है खाना भी अच्छा खाते हैं मस्त कितने पैसे कमा लेते बेटा दिन में तू जय को दिन भर में सो सवा सो सो सवा सौ रूपए कमा लेते अच्छा एक बात बताओ उसमें उसमें से कितने का खाता और कितने का सोलूशन पी लेता तू बीस का खाता हूँ एक सौ नब्बे रूपए का सोलूशन पी जाता हूँ His name is Kamlesh and at the time of interview he was 13 year old. Yes, just a 13 year old kid. Some of you probably remember him as this clip went viral and it even became the source of innumerable memes on the social media. However, in the process we ended up trivializing a really sensitive matter at the heart of which there was a drug addicted kid who probably needed our help. Well, hello everyone. My name is Sahil and in the today's video we are going to discuss about the rampant drug abuse problem that prevails in india cheeta heroin ganja marijuana and the list goes on when one talks about the drugs that are readily available for abuse however before dwelling in the aspects of the drug abuse let's understand the basic reason that why a person becomes addicted to a particular drug we'll understand this thing by the help of a simple analogy so our body's basic instinct is a survival and for that survival body needs to perform various physiological function and one of the function is to get fed now when a person eats some food body rewards that kind of a behavior by releasing a neurotransmitter a hormone by the name of dopamine this dopamine is also called as the feel good hormone it is responsible for making a person feel happy for making a person feel pleasure now when a person consumes the drugs these drugs artificially alter the state of mind and for the prolonged stages the dopamine is released and a person feels heightened up a person feels a sense of pleasure and therefore to again get that pleasure a person consumes the drugs and becomes dependent on such drug abuse now let's understand that how widespread is the problem of drug abuse in india so as per the latest world drug report 2022 that was released by the united nation office of drugs and crime it is provided that india is the world's single largest market in terms of opiate users and this size is bound to grow in the coming years as per an estimate by the ncb that is the narcotics control bureau as of may 2020 it is provided that 10 crore people are drug addicted it means one person amongst every 14 people is a drug addict in india which is really serious and which is really scary and as you can see from the chart here the opiate usage in india is three times higher than the world average when we talk about the opiates opiates are the essentially pain relieving drugs which muffle the pain receptors and boost the feeling of pleasure and because of that pleasure people become dependent on that as of 2018 india had 2.3 crore of opioid users and 3.1 crore of cannabis users nationally the most common opioid used is heroin followed by pharmaceutical opioid and opium in fact himachal pradesh is currently facing the worst drug crisis that has ever struck in india 5 saal pehle himachal pradesh mein opioid crisis nahi tha और ओपियड्स हिमाचल प्रदेश की बड़ी प्रॉब्लम नहीं थी व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ड्रग्स इन एरियो एक्चुअली लेकिन अगर हम 2014-15 के बाद की बात करें उसके बाद अचानक हिमाचल प्रदेश में ओपियड्स ज़्यादा देखने को मिला 2013 में हमने ऑब्जर्व किया कि पंजाब गवर्नमेंट ने सर्विलेंस बहुत टाइट कर दी और ड्रग पैडलिंग को रोकने के लिए काफ़ी सारे एफर्ट्स किए जब सिंथेटिक ड्रग्स बंद हो गई पूरे पंजाब में तो ऐसा तो था नहीं कि जो नशा करने वाले लोग थे वो खत्म हो गए वो तो थे यानी सप्लाई चेन ब्रेक हो गई लेकिन डिमांड वाज देयर इसका इंपैक्ट हमने हिमाचल में देखा हिमाचल शेयर्स इज बॉर्डर्स विद पंजाब अ स्टेट वेयर ओपियोइड यूजर्स फाइव टाइम्स द नेशनल एवरेज फॉर ओवर अ डेकेड पंजाब हैज बीन द कॉरिडोर फॉर ओपियोइड्स टू एंटर नॉर्थ इंडिया फ्रॉम नेबरिंग पाकिस्तान एंड अफगानिस्तान हिमाचल में ओपियोइड्स इतना बड़ा इशू कैसे बना नेटवर्क इतना स्ट्रांग है 
कि जो सब्सटेंस यूजर है उनको आसानी से मिल जाती है तो जो सब्सटेंस यूजर है वो पेंडिंग करना भी शुरू कर देते हैं क्योंकि अफोर्ड नहीं कर पाते एक सॉर्ट ऑफ पेरेमेंट स्कीम बन गई है How much do you think is the price of one gram of heroin? Three thousand, five thousand. Well, it is around ten thousand rupees. Yes, ten thousand rupees for just one gram of this substance. And when people become dependent, and when they fail to pay for such drugs, they are made to sell such drugs, and they become the drug peddlers. For every ten packets that they sell, they get one packet for their consumption, and this is how this pyramid scheme works. In Himachal Pradesh, uh, leave apart from police, I think the whole administration or the our cabinet, our ministers also feels like the biggest problem in Himachal Pradesh right now is drug abuse, and in that also the major portion in the last two three years has been dominated by the consumption of heroin or chitta. How many times a seizure happens? कई महीने में हमारे केसेस ज़्यादा भी होते हैं दस से बारह बारह केसेस भी होते हैं एक महीने में और लोकली लोकली लास्ट ईयर था डेढ़ किलो के आसपास था नाउ लेट्स लुक एट सम स्टेट वाइज स्टेटिस्टिक्स अबाउट द ड्रग अब्यूज इन इंडिया सो एज पर एन एम्स रिपोर्ट उत्तर प्रदेश हैज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ ड्रग अब्यूजर्स इन इंडिया फॉलोड बाई पंजाब सिक्किम छत्तीसगढ़ एंड डेली Secondly the largest number of heroin abusers in India are in Uttar Pradesh at around 17.3% followed by Delhi at around 16.3% West Bengal at 15% Manipur at 10.1% and Bihar at around 10% Moreover more than 60% of all the opium that is seized in India however in the terms of population percentage the highest dependency is in the northeastern states Nearly 7% of the population in Mizoram is dependent on to the opiates followed by the Nagaland Arunachal Pradesh Sikkim and all these data are provided by the AIMS report now let's talk about that how our children are vulnerable and how much children are actually dependent on such drugs so as per a survey carried by an ngo it's found that 63.6% of drug abusers they were introduced to the drug at the young age of 15 years Experts say the age of initiation into drugs is getting younger. For example, six-year-old Firoz, not his real name, who has not yet lost his baby lips. My brother, two or three times, and my brother gave me a little bit. It was good to do it. No. Did you feel good? Though we don't have exact data. because the reliable reports are not there in this particular direction but a substantially large number of children are dependent on the substances such as the whiteners alcohol tobacco and all such kind of intoxicants particularly the children who are abandoned orphan or who are destitute they are more dependent on such kind of a drugs and they use these drugs to cope up the daily physical sexual and other kind of abuses that they have to bear moreover sometimes in order to momentarily evade the poverty and its curses the children became dependent on such kind of drugs as per a 2018 survey on substance abuse it's provided that approximately 40 lakh children between the age of 10 to 17 are dependent on drugs such as the opioids and around 30 lakh children are dependent on inhalers but why is drug abuse so rampant in india logically a question will come in your mind now for this thing you need to understand the geographical position of india in the west iran afghanistan and pakistan form the golden crescent in the east thailand laos and myanmar form the golden triangle these are two of the world's biggest drug producing areas the golden triangle is a leading producer of meth the golden crescent maintains a near monopoly on opium production as we talk about the drugs more than 70% of drugs are smuggled in the country through international sea routes 20% by the roadways and 10% drug enters in the country through airways more than 2000 kg of drugs are smuggled inside india every day through the northeastern borders of india via the trucks 
वेयर एज इन पंजाब द स्मगलर दे हैव एक्सकेवेटेड द सिस्टमिक टनल्स एंड फ्रॉम दीज टनल्स दे सेंड द ड्रग्स इन इंडिया एंड समटाइम्स द ड्रग्स आर सिंपली टॉस्ट फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ द पाकिस्तान इन द पंजाब वेयर दे आर रिट्रीव बाय द एजेंट्स एंड देन दे सप्लाई दीज ड्रग्स थ्रू आउट द इंडिया so india especially the northern and the northeastern states become a very active transit point of trafficking of drugs in india lekin transit point ki khasiyat hoti hai ki wo consuming point ho jata hai maslan ki wo log jo is desh mein iska vyapar karte hain wo sirf vyapar hi nahi karte hain aise logon ko iska istemal bhi karate hain jo ki iske liye vulnerable hote hain jiske shikar ban sakte hain aasani se is thang se transit point consuming point ho jata hai most of the smuggling is taking place from pakistan on the land frontier of uh, facing punjab and rajasthan now delhi is very near so you, the air smuggler always decides on the nearest exit point and bombay is very near from rajasthan secondly both of these regions are also plagued by age long economic developmental issues for example As per the latest employment report published by CMIE, that is Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, it provides that in the northeastern states there is one of the highest unemployment that prevails. For example, in Tripura, the unemployment rate is 17 percent. To put this number in the perspective, the national unemployment rate is 6.43 percent, and in comparison, the Tripura is having 17 percent unemployment. and other northeastern states also are facing similar kind of economical developmental issues and when we talk about punjab agriculture brought a lot of prosperity and wealth to the punjab but now agricultural income are dwindling moreover industrialization is also stagnant and because of this drug trade becomes a significant aspect of the dirty economy of punjab moreover both of these regions that is the punjab and the northeast have faced a significant of insurgencies and extremism in the past and because of such a social turmoil the drug abuse becomes rampant and the population becomes vulnerable and because of all these things today we find that an entire generation might be lost because of the drug problem thirdly it is the entertainment industry which is also partly responsible for such a problem as per the report by the international narcotics control board it is provided that the celebrity drug offenders can profoundly influence the people's attitudes and the youngsters behaviors towards the drug abuse many number of times it has even been seen that particularly in the music industry the drugs are being glorified and it particularly attracts the young people as you can see in these charts that over the years the number of movies that has portrayed the drugs abuse it has kept on increasing to get a momentary high or to just fit in the peer many of the youngsters they fall prone to the drug abuse and many a times they reach to such a stage where it becomes literally impossible to leave the drugs and the drug usage becomes more important than the other needs of the life Now let's talk about the legal system. In India 17 substances including cannabis, cocaine, heroin, morphine, opium, MDMA are prohibited under the Narcotics Drug and Psychotropic Substances Act 1985. However, in 2014 amend an amendment was made and as per that amendment there were certain restrictions that were reduced essential narcotic drugs like morphine, fentanyl methadone they uh, basically the restrictions were reduced and it was made easy to use these drugs as the pain relievers and in the palliative care for production manufacture possession sale trafficking or use of these drugs in small quantities 
the punishment is rigorous imprisonment of up to 6 months or fine of up to 10,000 rupees or both. If it is more than a small quantity but less than commercial quantity, the penalty is rigorous imprisonment of up to 10 years and fine up to 1 lakh rupees. Additionally, the Indian government is also running the campaigns such as Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan has been launched where special focus is being made on 272 most vulnerable districts of India and the drug problem is being addressed there through this program. Moreover, we also have the national toll-free helpline number which you can see on the screen. Moreover, we also need to develop significant rehabilitation centers also so that they can help the people to get rid of the drug addiction. I will personally request you that please do reach out if you find anyone who is addicted to drug because somebody is looking for your help. However, the need of the hour is the active government intervention throughout this entire issue. According to recent studies, it has been found that most of the drug addicts are in the age group of 15 to 35. Many of them are unemployed and in 2021, an estimated 10,000 suicides can be linked to the abuse of drug and alcohol. So drug abuse is really a serious issue for the society and it poses a high risk and an unintentional accidents, domestic violence, incidents of medical abuse can directly be attributed to the drug abuse. These addicts, they fail to become the part of the workforce. And even if they become the part, there is high absenteeism and other issues which plague such a workforce. So even if you feel that why should I care, I am not addicted to the drug. Unfortunately, drug abuse is not a personalistic problem. Rather, it is an issue which directly or indirectly affects the entire society. So a question comes that how can we help them? So the first thing we need to understand is that the drug addiction is an illness just like the cold or the fever and as we get ourselves treated with such infections we need to seek the medical help and many number of times some other volunteers have to help them such as you and me but due to the social stigma neither people come and they ask for the help nor we actively give a helping hand because of that social stigma these people are ignored and they become the marginalized section of society one of the primary reason for this is society's perceptions of delinquents and lack of acceptance tag lag jata hai bachche pe ki criminal hai ye drug user hai ye nashedi hai ye sab tag lag jata hai the tags of criminal and addict stay with these children this needs to stop society should understand that we need to help these children so that they live a better life WHO recommends the four basic steps to address the problem of early drug detection. Number one, we need to provide them accurate information about the risk of drug abuse. It will deter a significant number of people. Secondly, there is a need to develop the supportive environments and parental support is very much significant to address this issue. Thirdly, we need to promote the active skills where the people can get involved and healthy opportunities for healthy lifestyles are to be promoted. Fourthly, equal access to education and vocational facilities are to be provided so that the people can get constructively involved in such kind of activities. And finally, I would like to end today's video by sharing a small clipping with you which is of a former drug addict who got rehabilitated himself and is now helping others to do the same. Thank you. बहुत अकेला है यार एक एडिक्ट ना उसे और दुनिया के लाज छोड़ती है यार उसे बोलती है कि ये नशेड़ी है इसके साथ नहीं है यहाँ पर आज समाज को इस चीज को जानने की जरूरत है कि अगर आपका बेटा आज नहीं लगाए तो हो सकता है यार ये एक बीमारी है किसी भी इंसान को किसी भी उम्र में आकर के लग सकती है तो अगर कोई दूसरा इंसान वैसा सा है तो उसकी मदद की जाए उसे उससे बाहर आने के लिए रास्ता दिखाया जाए ना कि उसे नकारा जाए